my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, which actually seems like ages ago now. I think this is going up towards the end of January as well, especially. Um, so I think if you're watching this, you're kind of like, Christmas, what? The quality streets went ages ago. But I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a really, really gorgeous new year. It does feel like it was ages ago. Um, but I feel like January's already been this really long month that I'm kind of like poodling around a bit like that meme of John Travolta in, um, oh my God, I've just drawn a blank, but Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Joe's like, Pulp Fiction. Oh, I was like, I do, I do like, I do like films. Um, but you know, it's just, it's been a bit of a long month and a bit out of practice as well. But I thought I would come back and talk you through some of my favourite kind of fashion favourites that I've loved from like around December to now and things I've been wearing a lot and a couple of new things. Haven't done a huge amount of shopping. I've been trying to just, my wardrobe feels like, because I kind of, I keep winter stuff in storage and it comes down, you know, when it hits like October, there's been so many things I've had in my wardrobe that I've just been trying to get use out of while I can. Um, so it's been really nice to kind of picking up a couple of things that where there's gaps I've seen but ultimately it's a bit of a mix of things but I thought I'd show you some of the favourite things that I've been loving um, and yeah just have a bit of a natter because it's been a bit of a long time and I think the last video I did was a lookbook as well so I feel like I need to flex the chatty muscle because I can talk for years when I'm typing or writing but god I really need to refresh so anyway let's get going the first thing I'm going to start with is I think the only thing I picked up in the sales um, and it was quite a fancy purchase. It was something that I'd seen um, I think maybe four or five months ago. I'd seen it, I don't know why I was saying maybe on Farfetch and I kind of favourited it and I put it on my blog shop so I kind of put things there so I don't forget the things that I've been loving and it's really it's a really nice way of watching things kind of as they go through the season, if they get reduced in price, if they start selling out, it's nice to keep a, keep tabs on things. I think full price is £695, which as you can imagine, it's not in my dress budget. So I was watching it and wondering if it went down in sale. I saw it on Farfetch just after Christmas, it was down to like 400 and something. And I was like, again, out of my dress, out of my dress budget, I don't have a dress budget, but it's just too much. I didn't have anything coming up that could warrant it, except for a wedding, which I have a dress for. But Charlotte kindly sent me a link to it. She was like, I've just seen it on Harvey Nicks for £195. And I was like, oh. And although I understand this is still quite a fancy occasion piece. And I know, I feel like it's also something that's a bit, it's not to everyone's taste. It's very kind of flamboyant. Let me just show you. I feel like I've been waffling on for long enough. But it is this dress from Regina Pio. And this isn't going to fit in the whole screen, but it is the most beautiful dress. Um, I'm just in love with it. It's got these incredible, incredible, like, organzary sleeves, which kind of come in at the wrist and just float out. And just the detailing is absolutely incredible. And like I say, it is definitely something that is made for special occasions. I nearly wore it on New Year's Eve and then my best friend was like, I'm wearing jeans and a top and I was like, okay, maybe not, maybe not. But um, someone said it's like um, the good witch dress from The Wizard of Oz and I'm inclined to agree. I'm inclined to agree. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I do now have a couple of occasions which I can wear it. So I'm definitely gonna get as much use out of it as I can. I know it's the kind of thing that I'm gonna have in my wardrobe for years. Um, it's still on the website for full price as well, so I feel like it's just such a wonderful, wonderful find. But yeah, no, it just feels like such a special piece and I feel really lucky to have been able to get it at a kind of more friendly price point. Um, she is such an incredible designer. Her cuts, her designs are quite, they're so timeless, but they just have these really kind of unique twists on really beautiful, elegant, like, pieces that withstand the test of time and I think this is such a testament to that and it's just so beautiful um, and I've been hanging it on my door because I just can't bear to put it in my wardrobe because I just want to keep looking at it but yeah this was what I bought in the sale so that is absolutely one of my December favourites. I say that and then I'm literally just like I love it lay it on the floor I'm like really it needs to be bagged up and put away but the next thing I'm going to move swiftly on because I've spoken about that dress for long enough now is this 
which is another dress from ASOS. This one I picked up um, actually last week. Um, it was quite a recent purchase. The reason I picked it up is because I've seen so many brilliant Scandi brands kind of showcase dresses like this. And it was £38 so it felt really reasonable and it's just something that added a bit of life into my winter wardrobe. I really struggle in winter to wear anything other than jeans and jumpers. I really kind of hit brick walls. I think it comes to going out and I'm like, I'm really cold. And all I want to wear is something that's gonna keep me warm. Like, I just don't think of anything else. I think that's why I kind of invest more into nice coats because they're the thing that does most of the talkings. Everything else is just the same, like variations of the same. So I picked this one up. Um, and I wore it on Friday, I had a meeting and I really wanted to kind of wear something that felt a bit smarter and just look a little bit nicer than the kind of thing that I've just been wearing on repeat and I absolutely love it, I bought it with black ankle boots, although white would be amazing and, and just a fluffy coat and I really really love it, I felt really good wearing something different and I think almost coming out of December I kind of always fall into this sartorial slump if you like where I'm just wearing the same thing just the kind of the first jumper i can see the pair of jeans that aren't dirty and that's it so this was a really nice way of shaking it up i also know it'll be great in spring with just trainers and it's just a really light kind of easy to wear dress and it's got this gorgeous elasticated waist it's super comfortable and yeah really really love that carrying on from the dress chat i also absolutely love this dress which is from and other stories I have a very, very similar blue one in my wardrobe from Under Other Stories too, and these dresses are absolutely gorgeous. I've been doing a bit of work with Under Other Stories over the past few months, and just, I mean, they are one of my favourite brands anyway, so I feel like if you've been seeing lots of Under Other Stories, they are just one of these brands I just go into for brilliant high street pieces, and the dresses are one of the things I love so much because they're so good for just day to day but can be dressed up really easily and this is such a good example of one I've obviously been loving the tea dress style for ages it was very very on vogue in um, August and September summertime with like little trainers and things and this is absolutely gorgeous it's this really pretty kind of greeny floral one um, kind of 40s style but I absolutely love it it looks really cool with like a roll neck underneath um, if you really want to layer but also looks amazing because it's such a nice length with like a really chunky like cream knit over the top with black kind of chunky like I don't know stomping boots I can't think of the right word but they just look really cool together absolutely gorgeous and yeah they're just they're just a really good fail safe piece especially this time of year you can wear tights with this as well especially dresses like this I find easier sometimes easier than the purple one I featured because it's got black in it you can put a pair of tights underneath if you are particularly chilly like me um, so I absolutely love that. So that's another favourite. The last thing from another stories I'm going to talk about is this gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. Um, this is new in my wardrobe and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's kind of like a toss up between an oversized Czech trucker shirt, which I used to be obsessed with, and also just like a 60s car coat. It's got these amazing lapels and collar. But it also comes quite low and it's quite boxy so it's bigger than a shirt you couldn't call it an oversized shirt because it is very much a jacket but because it is so oversized it's beautiful and layering you can fit so much underneath it and it's just super super cozy it's this gorgeous kind of like pulled wool and it's just so warm and it really really reminds me of a kind of a more affordable alternative to like the alexa chung check coat and there's so many things like this i've seen and this is just such a great version love the fact it's so light as well. I really love the cream and the top and I'm just very excited to style it. I think it will look great with kind of like white jeans, chunky brown boots and just really layered up when it gets really chilly. Maybe a beanie hat as well. But I'm just, I saw this and I was just like, oh my God. Um, so I feel very lucky to have it in my wardrobe and I know it's just going to be something I'm going to wear again and again and again. Um, I feel like with coats as well, they are just something I keep in my wardrobe for such a long time. I have an Orla Kylie one that I bought quite similar in terms of fabric to this maybe three or four years ago and I still love it I think when you have like a nice selection of variants of coats it's such a great way of building outfits in the winter because it can be quite uninspiring so having things like this really kind of snazz up a bit of a wardrobe blow so I'm very excited about that
Moving on to a pair of trousers that I've worn non-stop this winter. They are my favourite pair of wintry trousers I have. And it is these kind of velvet jeans from Abercrombie, which are a bit of a surprising one, to be honest. Um, I think I bought these two or three years ago and I saw someone doing a sponsored post with them and I was just like... I need to try those. Um, they're definitely not somewhere that I frequent often for jeans and things, maybe I'm missing out. Um, they're the high rise ankle flare. Again, like I say, these are quite old. Um, so I don't think they have the same pair exactly, but the cut is just so good. And I think because all my black jeans just fade to gray so quickly, they're such a great alternative because they are velvet. They've just retained their color so well and I just throw them in the wash. They come out as, as I threw them in, if, but cleaner obviously um and they're just so good the only thing is that the pockets aren't real which is a bit of a funny one so you kind of do the whole like um Arsene Wenger kind of can't find my pocket thing niche reference but you know worth it if you get it um and yeah I absolutely love these they're just they're, they're a really good way if you don't want to wear blue denim of snazzing up a really simple outfit and just kind of making it more pulled together I went out the weekend and I had a blouse on with blue denim and I was like oh this doesn't quite feel dressy enough for the bar I was going to or whatever and these kind of these stepped in and were like don't worry we've got you um, and they're just brilliant so I absolutely love those one other pair of trousers that I was kindly sent from the people at Joni and it's these ones they're the, they're like tartan high-waisted tapered trousers and I haven't had a pair like this for such a long time I always used to wear tapered trousers when I was in sick form and these are just absolutely gorgeous. So this really nice kind of green and blue tartan check. Really subtle though, so it's not too kind of out there if you're not into huge, hugely into print, sorry. Um, and I just think they're really, really good. The sizing's really, really spot on. Tiny, tiny bit smaller on the waist. Um, but the legs are really super comfortable. They've got pockets. Um, so just a really nice alternative to jeans if you want something that's a little bit more... I don't know, I think these can be really dressed down, they look really cool with trainers and t-shirts, but equally look really nice with the blouse as well as a kind of alternative to a nice pair of work trousers, so absolutely love those. I've got two more things and then I'm done, I promise. <laughs> okay, second from last thing is this, which isn't... <laughs> Maggie's just walked across and she's sitting by the door and she's just like almost resting that paw on her head and she's just like, I'm so done. I'm so done. Are you bored? Maybe I should be a bit shorter with all these all these anecdotal clothing chats, but there is this jumper, which is a bit of a funny one. I bought this when I stayed in New York in December, and I really, really wanted a really good grey hoodie. Um, if my dad's watching, he'll be really proud because he's a really big fan of the greys. He loves like a grey romper or like grey tracksuit bottoms and a hoodie for comfy wear. So I got him one as well, but I absolutely love this. It's just so cosy. It looks really cool with kind of like kick flare jeans, converse, and a big chunky jacket. I feel like it's the kind of thing you see someone like, I don't know, like Alexa Chung wearing when they're off duty, and you're like, that's a cool thing, and then you wear it, and you're like, I just kind of look like I'm still in my Avril Lavigne face. So it's a bit of a funny one, but it's just so cosy. It's really nice to pottering around the house in. Um, my friend Kim, who writes the blog Love Cloth, always wears gorgeous hoodies and like lays out really well, and she's just so cool at doing that kind of thing. So I'll link her blog below, because she's just queen of that kind of thing but I absolutely love that I thought it was quite cool a little bit, little bit retro um the last thing I have to talk about is this beret um I have been a long time beret lover and this year is no different they are my winter staple sometimes in the summer when I go out I do think like what can I put on my head to disguise my bad hair because this is just the easiest way of doing it it means I cannot wash my hair every day um, which is something I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing, but it just means that if my hair's a bit greasy, I can throw it on and it kind of pulls an outfit together and looks quite intentional, um, which is a bit deep when you're talking about a beret, but you know what I mean. Um, and I just love them. This one is from ASOS, um, but Miss Selfridge have some really good ones and Topshop often have a good selection of Monkey too. So really been loving that. How, how long can I just sit here spinning it? Um, I feel like I'm in Pizza Express or something with a pizza. Um, but yeah, really, really great and just a really nice touch to kind of make things look a bit more pulled together. And that is a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't too waffly. I feel like I am a little bit out of practice. I felt a bit stuttery um, and a bit like, oh, nervous purpose. So apologies if I was a little bit, I don't know, jumbly over my words. 
Um, but I am hoping to get back into the swing of videos. I've got a few lined up. I really want to do an updated kind of makeup routine video because I've really gotten into playing with my makeup a little bit more. So I'd love to perhaps share that. Um, I loved the video I did last year around this time where I was talking about books and resolutions. So let me know if you'd like another one of those. And yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And there's lots of stuff on the blog and Instagram means Kill Girls Club. So go and check all of those things out too if you'd like. And I will see you next week. Sorry about the squeaky chair as well, by the way. I feel like it's needs a bit of oiling. So um, <laughs> I will see you next week. Bye.